We have already understood what is product bundle, product option, and product feature. Now let's deep dive into product option setup. So I will take an example of a projector. So product, what is projector? It's a product and it comes along with screen, ceiling mount and bulb as in the bundle. So basically screen, ceiling mount or bulb, they can be sold individually. For example, if it is broken in the projector, screen can come individually as well. But like when we are talking of projector, it will be coming in the bundle. So these becomes product options. So we will set it up and see how exactly it works. So here I am on no projector, it's in product and here I will be going to related. In that I will be going to options, click on new. In the optional SQ, I will be putting screen. I will putting number, number is nothing but the sort as in what should come first in the screen, what should come last. So that is the number. Selected means that it will be like a pre-guided thing for the salesperson that okay it is being like this is should be there as in selected required means the screen is required right if we are going with projector and like quantity for example we are putting as one well. so this is how we will be able to select it now click on save and new projector ceiling mount now let's put number as 20 so it is uh, the best, best practice is like you put space between numbers so that if there is another option being added in between you can easily add that then let, let's not make it selected let's not make it required um, let's make it quantity as two just for learning purpose and click on save on you and the third option is projector bulb and we put number as 30 and we put as editable. Let's see what happens. Now we have three options. Let me open it side by side so that we can see what exactly is happening. So I come to a quote and then what I will do, I will do the edit lines. This is as a salesperson you are seeing, right? So as a salesperson, I want to add a product. Here I want to add the complete projector instead of a particular bulb or something. So I will select projector. I get a screen where I can select. I will select it. Click on select. So now you see the screen. If you observe, we put it as selected. So what is happening? It is selected. We have put it as required. So what is happening? It is coming as required. We cannot uncheck it. See, there is a lock, of, lock to it. Correct? So that is selected. That is required. And quantity is like already put quantity uh, for this one, one. Now, the second one. Here the quantity is 2. Why the quantity is 2? Because here we have put as quantity 2 numbers like second because we have put as number 20 we have not put selected or required but if you observe i am not able to edit it why the reason because either i have to put quantity or i put quantity editable like for example if i put quantity as uh, editable and click on save and then i need to refresh here See, I can edit it. So this is how I can edit the quantity. Either I am putting uh, like uh, quantity as two, but if I put editable, then I can edit it. Then the third one. In the third one, I have not put quantity as anything and I put it as editable. So what will happen? I should be able to edit it. If I select it, see, I can change. So that is quantity editable. Now let's see min and max options 
so let me put max as 4 for the first one and click on save so i have removed the required and i have put max quantity as 4 and now i have saved it let me refresh and see now what will happen the fields in the cpq are very important because they help in the configuration so that's why we need to put time to learn them how exactly they work so if i go to projector so here let me okay i can't even edit it go back so here uh, like I have put as one but I can't edit it the reason I cannot edit it is because I have put the quantity but not make it editable so let's change it to editable and click on save and let me refresh again okay now let's put it as six click on save see it is saying you have exceeded the maximum quality quantity of projector screen because we have max put as four so that is the use of max quantity so these are some of the important fields which we need to know so we have got to know uh, optional skew number selected required quantity quantity table min quantity max quantity then we have something called quote line visibility this is our quote line visibility in the quote line visibility we have always editor only document and never so what will happen If you put as document only for that product option for example for projector screen then it will only come in the code document as in once you generate the document it will be coming there what is like generate document so once you do everything there is an option of generate document in the code so once you are for example let me go to a particular code so here you can see a generate document option right So once the document is being generated in that so this is an example so once the document is being generated what will happen that only in then you can see the screen or product option where you have checked that as that document only editor only means like it will be showing in the quote line editor but not in the document never means it will be never shown like for example we don't want this person to worry about it uh, so it will never be shown in editor or document always means in the editor and also in the uh, document it will be shown so what it is this is how we are able to select quote line visibility so by default it is not selected so we should be able to see in both like if even if it is like blank or it is always we should be able to see in both so that is product option and some of the important fields